statement. Yes, sir. I work very close with the with the Regina Police Service. Yes. As I work at one of our hostels in the city. Okay. Thank you for that. The community services, and um, I'm always seeing police officers. So I really respect what you guys do within the city. Mm -hmm. Hundred percent. You have some great men and women on your force, and moving forward, I forgive Corporal McGee. Mm -hmm. But when I was slammed to the ground and he said to me, when I called out for a supervisor, mm -hmm. I am the supervisor. Mm -hmm. That is what got me, and that's also in my statement. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I'm just saying, I forgive the man, mm -hmm. because he's just a man. Mm -hmm. And honestly, we all make mistakes, and we will all mess up, and it is by grace we can forgive one another. But honestly, I forgive him, and I'll see him in the street, and I will smile. Mm -hmm. But what he did wasn't right. Right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. And, you know, I, I appreciate, uh, again, I think we're getting to know each other in front of the cameras, or at least one of us in front of the cameras. But um, I appreciate your, your work and your service in our community. I, you know, I really appreciate what you said about our members because I share your thoughts. I'm also very proud daily of the men and women that work here. We've got a great working relationship, um, much like you say, on, on the street level, on the service level, with service providers. So I appreciate you saying that, uh, and I do appreciate your comments. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm hopeful that maybe at the end of this process, and unfortunately the process becomes um, a little bit non-personal, but at the end of this process there'll be an opportunity, no matter where we end up, that we can sit down with Corporal McGee, yourself, maybe myself, whoever we need to have in the room and have a conversation, regardless of where this ends, regardless of, of whether or not discipline ends up being a result of this, and, and bring about some sort of conclusion. Again, it's important for us to be transparent and, and work very co cooperatively with, with the community uh, to make sure that we continue to, to instill confidence in the job that we do. So thank you for that. The complainant, uh, you know, as we've seen, is here today. I was just wondering, have you been in contact with this person throughout this process? And if so, what's your what's your message? Been message to them going through all this? Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I'll be honest, and I, I think the gentleman will will admit we've never spoke before. In fact, we've never seen each other before. But um, up until today, I, I just knew uh, the gentleman's name and and his age. Um, but. You know, it's. I guess if you're asking me what the message is, the message is, and I'll I'll look right at you when I speak to you. I mean, we're. I'm proud of this police service. I'm proud of the men and women that work here. We we want to do the right thing. Every once in a while, something happens that we need to take a step back and look at. Uh, that's why we have a complaints process. That's why we have uh, an independent body outside of our pl police service that will do investigations. That's why we go to the Crown Prosecutor and ask them to weigh in as to whether charges should be laid. So it doesn't look like it's just the police making that decision. It doesn't look like we're covering something up. Um, at the end of the day, we're, we're very willing and open to any sort of oversight. We're, we're willing to, to make an apology if we've made a mistake. We're willing to correct mistakes and we're willing to, to be better because of it, all with the intent to make sure that the public understands and maintains trust in our service to do, to do the job that we do.